In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the simple luminosity mask tools in Raya Pro. To begin with, we open up Raya Pro and go to LMs. Now before we do anything, we have to create our luminosity masks. So as I mentioned in the digital blending tutorial, it's best to create our masks on our base exposure or what we consider to be our best exposure. In this case, this exposure is my base exposure because it has more information than the darker exposure. So I'm going to create all luminosity masks. Now this isn't a comprehensive luminosity mask tutorial because it's a slightly more complex subject that requires a couple of hours of learning at least. And if you're interested in taking your luminosity mask understanding even further, you can go to enhancements and info and click on the art of digital blending link here and that'll take you to my luminosity mask course. Now once you've created the luminosity mask, you'll see them in your channels palette. But with Raya Pro, we don't need to use our channels palette. So to start, I'm going to make this darker exposure invisible by creating a black mask on it. And I do that by holding Alt or Option on a Mac and just clicking on Add Layer Mask at the bottom here. Now I want to make a selection of these highlights because they're overexposed and I want to restore them through the darker exposure. In Luminosity Masks, I can choose one of the bright exposures to select the highlights and I'm going to choose Brights 3. Now we can see our marching ants. I'm going to make those invisible by pressing Ctrl and H. And to visualize the selection instead, I'm going to click on Preview Overlay. And you'll see every single thing that's pink in the image is what will be included in our selections. So we can get a great preview of our mask. And to turn that off, we simply press Off. Now if you want, you can still see the classic luminosity mask by pressing C Mask. And this will confirm that we do indeed have these areas selected that we wish to restore. And now we can turn the mask off. And so if we're happy with that selection, we just choose the black mask of our darker exposure. We select a paintbrush, make it the correct size, and we just paint in those overexposed areas. And that's it, we've instantly recovered the highlights in our image with just a few clicks. The same process works with any of these masks. If we want to choose Darks 2, we can press Darks 2. If we want Darks 3, we press Darks 3. And same for the midtones. And we can preview the mask at any time by pressing Preview Overlay. Now, luminosity masks work a little bit differently when you're trying to recover the shadows. Usually, we have to subtract masks to make an accurate selection. However, I've included four luminosity mask presets that will target the shadows specifically so you don't need to subtract masks. And these four presets will work with most images when recovering shadows. So let me show you what I mean. If we just create a white layer mask on our normally exposed image, we have a brighter exposure underneath, and I'm just going to choose Dark 4. And we'll see our selection. We can see the mask here. And again, we can see it with the pink overlay. Turn it off. And if we press Ctrl and H, we can hide the marching ants, select the mask and a black brush, and we can just paint in that brighter exposure. And in just a few seconds, we've recovered the shadows in our image without having to subtract any masks. But if you do have to subtract masks, it's just as easy. All we do, first of all, we open up Raya Pro and we press deselect to make sure we have no selections active. And then we'll make a layer mask on the brighter exposure. To subtract the masks, all we need to do is to choose one mask, let's say Darks 3, and we can subtract, let's say, Darks 5 and Darks 6. To see if that's a good mask for our shadows, we can check the preview. If we're happy with that, we can turn the preview off, press Ctrl and H or Command and H to hide the marching ants, select the mask, and just paint in some of the shadows. And there we have it, some restored shadows. I'm especially excited about this next luminosity mask function. On some occasions, we'll find that luminosity masks can't create a perfect selection of the areas we want to include and the areas we want to exclude. For example, I have two exposures here, a darker exposure on top and a normally exposed image on the bottom. And we want to replace the sky from this brighter exposure with the sky from the darker exposure. But when we look at the luminosity masks, we'll see that we can't make an accurate selection of the sky while excluding the building because the sky isn't quite bright enough, especially to the left here where it's dark grey. To make an ideal mask, we need to make the sky much brighter and the building a little bit darker. Fortunately, with Raya Pro, we can do that easily. Firstly, I'm going to create a black mask on the darker layer on top. I'm going to open up Raya Pro. 
go to luminosity masks and I'm going to choose brights 3 and again we can look at brights 3 to see if this is the mask we want to work with and if it is we can choose manual adjust and remember we want to make the sky brighter while making the building darker and we'll do that by bringing the highlight slider which is the right slider down all the way to the left and this is strengthening our highlights and and we can bring our mid-tone sliders up to darken the building. To the left here, in the sky, we still have some gray areas. So I'm going to push the highlights along just to push those gray areas out. And I'm going to bring the mid-tones up even further. So now we have a white sky and a black building. And this is the perfect mask for our needs. All we need to do now is press OK. And the selection will be made for us. Now if we just click on the black mask, press Ctrl in H or Command in H, and choose a white brush, we can paint in that darker exposure. And just as easily as that, we can now create masks that suit our needs perfectly. And all we had to do was to press a couple of buttons and move a slider. Finally, there's one more function in the Luminosity Masks panel that I want to show you. Now, unfortunately, this function was only added in Photoshop CC 2014, so it's only available in that version of Photoshop and in CC 2015. I wish Adobe had added this function earlier, but unfortunately that just wasn't the case. Now, if you have earlier versions of Photoshop, don't worry, you still have the full function of Luminosity Masks, and that's all you'll need for effective digital blending. These new range masks essentially give us a more accurate luminosity mask, but with the new manual function, you can do exactly the same with classical luminosity masks. Range masks are masks that I've personally developed, and if we go down to the channels palette, I've already created them. We can see them here, and essentially they are much more contrasting luminosity masks. So for example, if we look at our brights 5, we'll see that we have an excellent selection of the sky, and we've excluded most of the building. Our bright six too. But if we look down at our luminosity masks, we'll see that our selections are much softer, so they're not as contrasting as the range luminosity masks. And it's entirely up to you if you want to explore range luminosity masks and experiment with those ahead of luminosity masks. But Raya Pro essentially concentrates more on luminosity masks and certainly has a lot more function.